Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we got rid of the uh, Green Gigas, so Ixitaka is pretty much safe. And I think the Valuans all fled back to Valua, so... Uh, yep. <laughs> They're sitting pretty here now. So, uh, a few things we're gonna do before we leave this area. We're actually gonna head back to Horteca really quick. Because, uh, all the slaves from Mount Moon... Or, <laughs> Mount Moon. <laughs> um, the, you know, the mining place, the moon. Moonstone Mountain. Yeah, that's it. Are free now. Thank you very much, Random Battle. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. For some reason, I have so much trouble getting into this town sometimes. <laughs> oh, tech there it is. Okay. So this is the guy I was looking for last time that I couldn't find. Because uh, apparently they weren't free yet. They had to all leave the entire zone for them to uh, release the slaves or something like that. Yes. So he's going to give us something really good, actually. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's like one of those things you wouldn't think to go back and check. Because, I mean, the only reason you were ever given to come back here uh, was to talk to Send Time again. So <laughs> you, you'd figure you didn't really have to come back. But it is very good if you do. I'll show you the very momentarily as soon as I climb this giant pole. My lord. I'm still gonna make this place in Minecraft. It's in it's in my head now. I'm gonna do it. There you are. Hey look, it's a dude. Ah, you're the one who got rid of the Valuans. It's only because of you that I was saved. On Moonstone Mountain they made me work. It was very hard. But thanks to you I came home alive. Here, my thanks. Please put it to good use. Received a Tropica. That's yeah, like the fruit. <laughs> There's no fruit called Tropica, what are you talking about? But anyway, it increases an ally's HP by 200. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. And uh, Fina's gonna get it because she's health uh, disabled. What is this? Agile? Ooh, vice, okay. Alrighty, I'll meet you guys outside. Alrighty, so I rested up, and apparently the lady in the. Uh, the elder's little hut will uh, let us rest for free now instead of 160 gold that she was charging before. So that's pretty cool. Um, so if we head like southeast of Horteca, there should be this ship I'm aiming right at. Hello! Our people eat berries and seeds. We really like to eat sky sardis, but they're harder to catch than berries and seeds. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Can you please bring me ten sky sardis? If you want scar, if if you want sky sardis, I have ten right here. You can have them if you want. Let me just give it to him. Okay. Yum yum yum. Yum! I love fish. I eat them every day, but they're too hard to catch. Thank you. I am very grateful. Take this as a symbol of my appreciation. We got an abric cham. So this is a different type of cham. It's uh. It's actually pretty special. It, it forces Cupel to his next form uh, instead of just slowly building up to it with just regular jams. And um, I'm just going to use it. And so he's a Cupel star now. Uh, there are items later that, that you get later that uh, let you pretty much re. I don't know how to really say that. Respec, I guess. <laughs> Cupel. Because, I mean, the chams, you can build up to the next level with chams. Or you can just use an abric cham and evolve them right away. But uh, apparently there's different paths you can evolve. I haven't really looked into that too much. But, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, like, <laughs> when you use chams and abric chams the first time around. Since you can uh, basically do a, uh, get a redo. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're done in Ixitaka now. Uh, it's time to head up to North ocean and uh, head straight for Valua, which is like the last place we'd probably want to go. But <laughs> we're going to go there anyway. Alright, so here's the plan. Basically, North Ocean is this triangular area here. So we're just going to circle around here a little bit to get some discoveries before we head up here. So, uh, 
yeah. And then once we get those discoveries, we're going to head back down, sell them to that uh, black market dude, and uh, then we can finally progress. So I, I think this part, I'm just going to try to get all these discoveries done. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So our first discovery is actually right over cha, 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 cha. Rock's nest. The nest of the legendary bird, the rock. A single rock egg is large enough to feed a whole town for a full lunar cycle. However, not many people are brave or stupid enough to try and steal the egg from the nests of this giant bird. Yeah, I'd imagine so. <laughs> Yikes. Man, if feed a whole village? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And then there's one right here. Will-o'-wisps. I woke up in the middle of the night and saw something glowing out near some unpopulated islands. I thought it was just seeing things at first, but then the light started moving around in these weird patterns. An anonymous sailor. Is that how you spell anonymous? I never know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of spooky. <laughs> I think if we head southeast of there... Right over here... Ugh, this one's always so hard for me to find. <laughs> It's it's invisible. It's like a whole island too. Um, here, here. Hey, yeah. I find you yet? There it is. Mysterious rings. See, it's a whole freaking island. <laughs> Huge geometric shapes that are mysteriously that mysteriously appear on the ground overnight. Reports have been very frequent lately. Uh, old r records speak of a similar phenomenon that mentioned two or three glowing balls of light that appear the night before the shapes are found. Aliens! Yep, so, <laughs> look at this thing, man. <laughs> How could I miss that? Okay. Anyway, so well, I think what I gotta do now... I have to head down here, southeast. And we should be able to see this one. It's kind of moving. And we have to avoid this pirate ship at the same time. Oh my god! <laughs> And yeah, this one's moving around. This is probably the most annoying discovery of the entire area. But it is pretty easy to spot because it's pretty much black on white background, so... Oh boy! Okay. <laughs> Where are you, little devil? I'll find you yet! We're basically traveling along its uh, path. It looks like I missed it somewhere, fortunately. Well, darn it! Alright, time to head back. Oh my god, there it is! It was behind me the whole time! Oh my god, come here, you little devil! Tricyclone! A dangerous triplet of cyclones, sailors have dreaded the legendary Tricyclone for centuries. It is said that if you encounter it, all you can do is pray. However, it is also said that in the center lies the treasures of a thousand air pirates. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to really tempt fate jumping into a tricyclone. No, thank you. <laughs> Whenever I see a cyclone or something, it reminds me of that movie Twister. With Helen Hunt, you know? And they tie themselves to that pole and they're just like dangling at the end and like, Oh my god, we're in the eye of the giant tornado! That's crazy, man. That was crazy. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't that crazy, but it was it was pretty crazy for the time. I was like, whoa. That's what I said. I said, whoa. We found the giant throne! An enormous rock formation that looks like a rocking chair. Claw marks on its surface have given rise to many stories. Some speak of a giant green creature that once perched here, or of a hairy beast that was lulled to sleep by the rocking motion. Okay. <laughs> I know we're in a new area, and I keep cutting out these battles, but uh, <laughs> uh, honestly, they're just the same enemies from Ixitaka for some reason. I don't really understand. The Giant's Hammer, that looks really sweet. A strange structure found in the northern region regions of Ixitaka. It was named Giant's Hammer for its unusual shape. But there are many local legends that tell of giants, so perhaps the name is not far from the truth? So wait, we're still in Exitaka? I thought we were in North Ocean. Well, whatever. 
Okay, so that's the last discovery we can make before this little incident. Wait for it. Hold your breath. There it is. Cold ocean starfish soup, balloon chicken with onion sauce, and a mountain of flying fish. This guy, this is wonderful. The ship that we hit yesterday really had some great food on board. Captain Gordo, a ship armed with a gigantic harpoon has been sighted off port side. No, I see. Good, good. Another ship full of goodies is there for the taking. I'll take on anyone if I think they have good food on board. I really hope they have something that goes good with fish. <laughs> oh lordy, he's fat. Vice, there's a ship heading right for us, and they're black pirates. I know that flag. It belongs to a pirate named Gordo. He's known as the Gourmet Pirate. He attacks other ships and steals their food. He rarely uses his cannons because he's afraid he'll burn the food on the other ships. He'll do anything for a good meal. As far as black pirates go, he's a strange one. You're telling me, he's getting awfully close. They're boarding us! They're challenging us to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat! Well, while they're here, we might as well kick their butts. That's like what I would say! That's like what I would say, Vice. We're like on the same wavelength, man. <laughs> okay. So there's Gordo and his three mad chefs. <laughs> oh, lordy. This guy's ridiculous. He's actually not that difficult, I don't think. So, we're just going to take out his chefs first, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. Good as gold. I want purple. Not that it really affects Lambda Burst. I think Lambda Burst is always fire, so I'm not entirely sure on that. Purple? Okay. Purple with you. And I think Gordo, all he does is drink alcohol and then vomit lava or something. <laughs> really crazy, like. Look at that, that guy's already dead. And I'm poisoned. Oh my god, they poisoned? That's so cheap! You freaking jerk. <laughs> Chef's the poison. Oh boy. That's how you lose your restaurant, guys. You better cool it. See, we took all the chefs out in one turn. Not even difficult. So there he goes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll probably have to heal him. Okay. We'll just use Cutlass Fury. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to... Use her to heal uh, via advice. Yes. We'll just use a... S ah. Yeah, let's just use Sacris Crystal. Okay. And then she can use Curia Crystal. You can do a Spirit Charge. What I'm going to do is charge up enough Spirit to use Vice's ultimate attack, just to show it off. We could probably beat this guy in like a couple turns if we just all out attack, but I, I really want to show that attack because it's pretty sweet. Fortunately, we'll, we will be taking some damage because his little attack does a little bit. Not too bad, though. Here he goes. Loqua spray! <laughs> that must have been some spicy loqua. Yikes. Surprise our ship isn't on fire right now. Oh my god, I'm one... I think I'm one short. <laughs> yeah. That figures. Oh well, I'll just uh... You know what, I'm gonna have enough, so I'm just gonna use Sacrum. I think I'll have enough, anyway. <laughs> well, if I have Drachma use Spirit Charge, I should have. 
Hopefully. Oh, Gordo. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous black pirate ever, man. Oh, I guess he just attacks too. Oh, God. Yeah, he doesn't have much health. <laughs> so, here we go. Pirate's Wrath. Vice's ultimate super move. It's gonna be sweet. And you guys just defend, because it's gonna be awesome. said I'm done for three times. <laughs> okay, so that took him out. Isn't that a cool attack? Holy moly. He just got his butt kicked. Got cham, some fish, and some more fish. I don't need fish. Too bad. <laughs> we give up. You and your crew fought well. Your name was Vice, right? I don't think uh, I've seen, ever seen you in North Ocean before. This is the first time we've ever been to the North Ocean. For now, we're riding aboard Captain Drachma's ship, the Little Jack. Drachma? Wait. Drachma, were you ever in the North Ocean before? What if I was? Then it is you. I've heard all about you. You're the sailor that is chasing the Ark Whale, Rackham. If I recover, remember correctly, it was to avenge your son, right? Enough! Ooh, he's pissed. I don't know what stories you've been hearing, but I suggest you keep them to yourself. And unless you want me to throw you overboard, you should get off my ship. Oh, that's quite alright. We'll be going now. That's right. Waddle away. And what are you staring at? Are you gonna stand there all day? Get back up to the bridge before I throw you overboard. <gasps> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wow, they said that. Okay. Time to run away, little kids. Go, go by. Bye bye. Oh, and of course, Fina has to bow. Okay. <laughs> Rachnum. Ooh, Drachma backstory. Okay, so that was a nice distraction. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, something happened with Drachma's son. Supposedly. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. That would explain why he's so uh, steadfast in his pursuit of Drachma. <laughs> I was waiting to complete that sentence. Looks like we've reached Valuan airspace. So this is where the yellow crystal is hidden, right? Yes, it is sealed somewhere in these lands, along with the yellow gigas. Considering how much trouble we've caused the Valuans already, we should be extra careful, right, Captain? Captain, what's wrong? Uh, um, nothing. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Nothing really. It wasn't anything important. Ooh. Wow, that really got to him. Oh boy. I just want to be like, hey Drachma, what's up? <laughs> uh, we found lighthou Lighthouse Ruins. Originally an ancient ruin, it was converted into a lighthouse to guide Valuan ships returning from the north. But as the center of Valuan culture shifted to the south, the once great lighthouse faded from people's memories. That's a shame. Okay. So, we're actually going to head into Valua here to get one more discovery before we head back. Which is kind of weird, but... <laughs> this place is... Ugh. Look at this place, man. <laughs> it's, it's so yellow and weird. Maybe because it doesn't get any sunlight. There's no plants here.
Okay, now we're gonna start fighting some new stuff, I think. Oh no, we've already fought these. Haven't we? Oh no, these are different. Yeah, yeah. These are the Valuan equivalent of the stone beaks in Ixataka, so they're a little bit stronger. Etc. etc. <laughs> Probably not too much different here. Although I know there's one enemy here that will actually cast attorney just like in Ixataka. And it looks pretty much the same too. It's the same kind of bird shape. <laughs> But you can fight them in pretty big swarms, I think, so you have to use a uh, magic shield thing. What am I doing here? Rain of Swords? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just attacking r randomly. I'm just hoping Vice goes before these other two. Thank you. Rain of Swords. Kapowza, you're both dead. That's what you get. They're almost all the same level, except Vice is a little too antsy for his pansies. Dang it, Vice! <laughs> so if we just keep heading straight out of where we came in, we should be sitting right in the chair. Ancient Palace! A beautiful old castle that stands near a lake in central Valua. Local legends of evil wizards and mysterious disappearances were revived when mysterious, when various potions and torture devices were discovered in the dungeons beneath the castle. Yikes! It's freaky. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't go there. Although it sounds really cool. So, I'm actually just gonna cut to when I'm back down in Ixitaka so we can turn in those, all those discoveries we just made. So, see you then. Okay, guys, we are in, back in Ixitaka, so let's sell all those discoveries. <laughs> yeah, 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 we know what to do. Okay. This should give us a good, a plenty of money here. <laughs> oh my god, there's none under a thousand. Oh, that is delicious. 86,000 G, man. Let's see if we missed anything. Nope. Cool. Anything new on the wanted list? Unfortunately, we can't collect the bounty for Gordo uh, from this guy because he just does discovery stuff, so that's okay. There is one more. We haven't actually seen this one before. Loose cannon l lapin? 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 <laughs> Using gun arm, a machine of his own creation, this pirate seems to enjoy wanton destruction of property. But even his machine is capable of producing a multitude of smaller drones, as uh, as well as having a large arsenal of weaponry stored inside. Whoa, that sounds intense, man. <laughs> okay. Well, he's worth a lot of money, so we may not see him for a while. Um, okay. So I guess that's all we need to do. Okay. So I'm just going to end this part here, guys, and then next time we'll start off right at the entrance of Valua again so we can actually uh, start progressing again. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.